Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, a couple of weeks ago, somebody left a comment. I'll try to dig through the comments and find it and I'll leave it down below. Now, somebody left a comment and they said, what is the cheapest cordless drill that you could realistically recommend if you were in a pinch and your normal one had died and you just needed a cheap replacement that tied you over? Um, well, the problem with that is that obviously the cheaper you go down the, down the food chain, so to speak, uh, the, the less quality you get. Um, however, I've done a bit of looking around on the internet and this is what I've managed to come up with. Now the criteria for this was uh, reasonable, I mean I say strict, but uh, I mean we all know you can go on to eBay, Amazon, you know, you can go on to all of these you know, online auction places um, and you can find a drill for a tenner with a battery and a charger. But to make this a, a sort of a fair realistic test, I've, uh, these are the parameters here that I've uh, set up. So the first thing was that it had to have two lithium ion batteries. The second was that it had to have a one hour charger. And the third was that it had to have a two speed gearbox. Now this one, I bought this online for 23 pounds. That is what I paid for it, okay? Um, I will leave a link to it in the description below so you can uh, pick one up for yourself if you want to. Although I don't know if it's any good yet, we've got to review it. Rather than do like a sort of a destruction test, as, as much fun as they are, what we're gonna do is I am gonna trade my Milwaukee 12 volt cordless drill and I'm gonna trade it for this one for two weeks. So we're going to use this one every single day, like we do, like you've seen us do. It'll be in and out the back of the van. Actually, the first thing I've noticed is the weight. The Milwaukee one is a lot heavier. Um, but we're going to, this is going to be a fair test. So I'm going to, this one will stay, I'll keep it in the van, but we won't use it. This one will stay to one side. And we're going to put this one through its paces every day. And we're going to see whether you can actually buy, you know, a reasonable, you know, can you actually buy a reasonable cordless drill, you know, for under 25 quid. Initially, I, I, I actually don't think it's possible, but we're open-minded here. We're gonna give this a go. I've actually only just noticed that this one has got, uh, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that was a direct copy of the uh, Makita writing. I mean, the actual initial feel of it, it really doesn't feel that bad. Um, the battery stays in. You do have a little voltage into some sort of like a power indicator by the looks of it. Um, and it is quite talky. I mean, this is on the highest setting here. And it is, it's got a good bit of torque behind it. It's actually, I'm going to say mildly impressive. Magnetic side, I'm guessing that's, yeah, to hold those, but not a lot of magnetism going on there. On the front of the drill, we've also got a little LED light, which is quite handy. And this one's got a 10 mil chuck on it, uh, rather than the 13 mil chuck that this one's got. So I'm expecting good things out of this. I mean, it says here, long, uh, was it long yin? Just fine quality. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, first thing I've noticed is a bit of a quality control issue here. We've got a slight split in the case here, which is a bit more apparent if you, uh, <laughs> AVE would be turning in his grave if you saw that. And they've got a bit of a, bit of a split going on there in the case. So maybe a slight quality control issue there perhaps, but anyway, let's put it to work. All right, I can stay in there for a minute. Day, this is sort of, I think this is day two of me using this. It's, it's all right, like it's, it's kind of like, I'm trying to think the best way to describe it. It's like, it's like riding a 50cc scooter, you know? They're really good fun, but you don't want to be seen doing it in front of your mates, if that makes any sense. It's one of those things. It's, it's a cheap <laughs> drill, but I, I kind of like it. It's, it just works. It's, I mean, all right, I'll give you, it, it's, not got, it's not got the balance that my Milwaukee's got, say. So if I, you know, if I hold that like that, it will just stay there. So, <laughs> so it's, it's got a few issues, all right? It's not balanced. It's not... It, it, it's got all of the, all the trimmings have been cut out of it, but it's, it does work. It's, you know, uh, but we'll see, this is day two, I think. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do this for a fortnight and we'll just, uh, I'll update you as we go along. Get these out. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it is talky enough. It's, it has got enough talk behind it. It's, <laughs> Tom, 
Yeah. Just throwing you up the long yun. All right. There you go. Careful, mate. It's an expensive drill. Oh, yeah. Fucking throwing it at Nineteen ninety nine, including shipping. <laughs> yeah. See, you've had this for about a week now, haven't you? Like with me not being here. Yeah. I'll put it through its paces, the don't worry. last time I felt it, it felt a lot smoother. There is a bit of a, I have noticed, there's a bit of a wiggle on the... Chuck. Where was it? Yeah. There's a little bit of wobble there now, which wasn't there when I got it. But I mean, so far it's doing all right, so. Mm. It's really good for its price. For its price, yeah, that's, I think that's the key thing. For its price, it's, it's hard not to like it, but it's still a piece of shit. But it's not, do you know what I mean? It's, it is, for 20 quid, it's, you really can't, I mean, I don't even understand how, how can you make something so cheap and then ship it from China to the UK for free? I, I've just, I mean, it's all, you could almost say that for 20 quid, it's worth just stripping it for parts, for the motor, for the lithium ion batteries. It's worth it just for that and just to basically use it as a mule for parts. But it's, as a drill, I mean, all right, it's got a bit of a wobble on the chuck now, but. So far, it's holding its own. The battery's actually on charge at the moment. And the batteries actually last pretty well on it, surprisingly. I think they are a genuine one and a half amp power. They do seem to be, the runtime on them's all right. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Was that the Long Yun? What a shame. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> oh no. Is it broken? <laughs> no, it's actually not. Is it? I tell you, this is quite a robust little, it's a robust little f of this one. We've got to drown it now. Yeah, we've got to drown it. There's a picture actually where they're using it underwater and the battery's just out of the water, but apparently you can use this underwater. I'm not, I'm not convinced, but we will give it a go. I'll find an application where we can somehow try it. So, anyway, I'm going to pass the stuff down. Yep. Go on, you All right, you know this little drill? I think stuff like this does go to prove that it doesn't matter. It's not always about price, you know? It's not, a lot of the time, you know, we moan about Chinese, you know, cheap Chinese shit that's imported and it's a waste of money, but I'm sorry, that proves that there are still products out there or still companies out there that make <laughs> actually not bad products for the money, you know? I have given this I put this through hell and back the last sort of three, four weeks, and it has taken out. I mean, all right, there's a bit of wobble on the chuck. I mean, it's, you know, there is a bit of wobble there now, and there's a bit of a, yeah, there's a bit of a split in the case there, which is opening up, but it's, you know, this never, it's, this, you know, never claimed to be, you know, the, the Bosch or DeWalt or Milwaukee standards. It's just a, you know, it's a cheap Chinese drill, but it's, I love it. It's a brilliant little bit of kit, you know? If you're an apprentice starting out or something, you just want a cheap, because they, they do this in a variety of tools, they, you know, all sorts of tools they do. But, you know, if you're just new coming into the industry, you just want a couple of cheap tools just to get you going, I rate it, I really do. I'm gonna hang on to it, and we're gonna, I'm gonna keep this review running, and uh, I'll just, yeah, we'll just see how long it goes for, but I've got nothing but respect for that. Yeah.